It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Marks and Spencers, brewed by Adnams for Marks and Spencers, and this is the Suffolk Bitter. I'm really looking forward to this beer. It's coming in at 5.2% ABV. What I'm hoping is this is something from around Suffolk, of course it is, Adnams neck of the woods, where you can only buy the beer. I'm hoping that this is a an old favourite that's readily available in the Suffolk area of the UK in all of the pubs. What I mean by that is, yes, in Wales we can buy Adnams Broadside. <laughs> that's the one I had a bit of a brain fart then. Adnams Broadside and some of the other Adnams, Adnams Ghost Ship, for argument's sake, that's a, a kind of like a whole UK sold beer, you can pick it up in B&M and home bargains and that sort of thing on occasion. But yeah, what I'm saying is I hope this is something kind of like a bit of a secret from Suffolk that I'm getting to try today. It cost me £1.80 for the bottle. It's in a 500, 500 milliliter bottle, dark brown bottle with a British flag on the bottle cap. I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Um, Adnams have, they've been in the news for, I suppose, a little bit of the wrong reasons. Not, not that they've done anything wrong. <laughs> not that they've kind of like, have been outspoken or, or done something silly, but um, it's kind of news that you don't really want to hear. Um, we'll talk about that in a moment, but let's, let's, let's concentrate on the beer. For now. I used to have a really good friend on Adnams Brewery. Um, Sean his name was. He was there like he realized that social media was going to be absolutely huge before a lot of other breweries did and they kind of made him this social media kind of manager before he was even fashionable to do so and I think that's what helped get Adnams like throughout the UK. It was the fact that this Sean really understood. I'm talking like 2011, 2010, 2011. Adnams, regional brewer. And they were absolutely bang on social media from the moment it came out. And it was down to this Sean. He was a lovely guy. Uh, I met him at a few beer festivals. Met him at a few uh, Adnams uh, and the British Guild of Beer Writers Awards dinner. We had a few pints there. That was a good night. He's no longer with Adams. He, 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 I think he might have done something for himself in terms of social media in the end. But we've got a one finger white head on this beer, slightly off white head. It's a dark, chestnutty looking beer. It looks absolutely fantastic. £1.80 for the bottle. Nice and clear. No sediment in the bottom of the glass there. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, this is... This is right up my street type of beer. Nutty, biscuity, bready, wholesome. Wholesome is the word. The hops are giving off aromas of like a like a slightly darker berry. A little bit plum like, a little bit black currant like it smells absolutely wonderful it really does let's dive in cheers everybody oh stone the crows Stone the I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Oh blimey, that is that is something absolutely fantastic. Stone the crows. Wow, what a beer that is. It's so rich and decadent and delicious and I'm probably sounding a bit like a Max and Spencer's advert at the moment, aren't I? Like a Christmas advert for Max and Spencer's. Oh, that is brilliant beer. That is right up my street. British ales, 
British bitters, British traditional, gonna call it real ale if you want. This is not real ale, it's been pasteurised, but you know, some people associate real ale and, and, and bitters and ales with this kind of like darker, more kind of chestnutty colour. And, and that's absolutely bang on, that's absolutely right. Um, but, but this is a gem. This is a real gem. Do you know what I, was, I started off the review talking about, like, without driving all the way down to Suffolk and, and, and drinking Adnams beer in a local pub, you're hoping for a hidden gem. Well, well this, is, this is an absolute hidden gem. Got a Marks and Spencer's a couple of miles away from me. £1.80 a bottle. This is absolutely delightful stuff. Don't get me wrong, much more traditional, traditional beer. What I will say to you guys here is if you are a traditional beer lover, if you love your real ales, if you love your slightly darker beers like this, then you will love this. You will absolutely love this. It's brilliant. And I mean, for one pound eighty, between one pound eighty and two pound a bottle. I mean, there's your Saturday night right there. What did I? What did I say? Five point five point two percent ABV. That's a great Saturday night right there. Put a movie on with the family. Four bottles of this, eight quid. Sit it in the corner, got my little table by the side of me while, while I watch a movie. Bag of nuts next to me. I don't mind, I, I live with three, um, wife and wife and three kids. Well, wife and three girls. So I'm always kind of like being held to ransom with like Barbie movies and whatnot. Uh, okay, I can live with that. I can live with it. I, I understand I'm outnumbered all of the time and they'll never want to watch a Transformers movie. Uh, or Star Wars or anything like that. So I am always outnumbered and we always end up watching um, a different type of movie. But my wife, my kids, they fully understand. As long as I'm happy, as long as I've got a couple of beers next to me on my little table, bag of nuts, yeah, I might doze off. I might, I might doze off halfway through the minute. I might wake, wake up and have a little 10 minutes, like, you know. But I got a nice, I got a really nice kind of bitter sitting next to me. And that's the whole point. That's the reason why I'm saying it. I'm saying this because it's just, this is just brilliant beer. And I can imagine this is my movie time beer. Biscuity, bready, nutty, caramel, roasty, toasty. Bitterness on the back end, it's just beautiful, and, and, and the hot flavours coming through are just so lovely. Plum and dark berry kind of fruit flavours coming through. Really, really good beer. Really, really, really good beer. Um, I really like this. I do. I really, really like this. I, I really like it. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about Adam's food. I, I mean, I will very quickly. Um, the, the news doesn't need overly broadcasting, but they, 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 they've had a firm come in and work out their financials, which is never a good sign. Um, it, it, it sent a few shockwaves through the industry because Adnams are such a brilliant brewery and they have a distillery and they're, they're making gins and vodkas and whiskies and all. So I think they've got a wine they're into wines as well. I'm sure they make a wine or two. Um, but they're a company which, you, they look super solid, you know? They look super solid. And they got some pubs, of course, around Norfolk Way, Suffolk. And you just think that they bullet, they, they, they seem like they, they, they put all their eggs in the right basket and they're bulletproof. It, it, it just shows that, it just shows that this current market we're in, this, this little recession we're going through is is not nice. It's not nice. I've I'll be open. I'll be honest. 
I've noticed that people are not watching as much. And I know why. I know why people, people, you know, that I've got a beer here. They, but this cost me four pounds. Vocation doppelganger. I know for a fact that if people haven't got four pounds, and quite rightly so in a recession, quite rightly so, I'm not judging anybody, but if people haven't got the money, they're not going to watch the videos. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. It's not, it's not rocket science. And, and it's the same for, for, for everybody else out there, Adnams and other companies. If they can't afford to buy it, it's not an essential, is it? It's not like an essential that you absolutely blooming need to do is, is to go and buy four pound beers or, 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 you know, take your wife and kids to an Adnams pub. And, I, and, and I'm sure Adnams will get through it just fine. I'm pretty sure they will. Um, but yeah, that was the bit of news. That was a bit of news that came out about a month or so ago. Um, so I wish Adnams all the best if they're watching. Um, I'm going to rate this beer now. I think this is absolutely damn fantastic. If you have the opportunity to go and buy Suffolk Bitter, please do. I'm going to read the first paragraph. And that will be it. Quintessentially English Bitter. I love that. But it's so damn true. Quintessentially. There's something. I like that. Being a Welshman. Being a Welshman, I like the fact that the English are really proud of their beers. They're really proud of their bitters and real ales. And I, cause I, I mean, I, I love it. Of course I do. In Wales, we try our best to brew <laughs> great, great real ales and bitters. Not, not, not to the. I, I would say not to the English standard, but you know, we we've, we've had some great breweries here in the past. Fat and Fowl, Fowl and Brains and Buckley's and the rest. A lot of them are gone now. I feel like I'm gassing. Rating for this beer. I love it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.